Hello, good morning. This is Ulaganathan. Going to take the subject database management system. Database management system is a subject which is included in the University of Madras syllabus for final year BSc Computer Science and final year BSc Computer Application students. This is included in the final year syllabus of undergraduate computer science students. Let me say what do you mean by database management system? So here we have the subject database management system. It can be divided into number of components, right? First, we can start with data. Then we can go with database. Then we have management. And we have system. Database management system. <coughs> First, we have data. The hierarchy of data is data. Data, what do you mean by data? Data is called the entity of real facts. It is a collection of real facts. Once you process this data, that will become information. So, processed data is here called what? Information. Why we need to process a data? Because we need to have a process for data to deliver an information unless otherwise it will not generate meaningful information. Okay, come to the point. Hierarchy of data. So, the first is data. Second, it is column or field, then we have record or row, then we have files or tables, then we have database. This is called hierarchy of data or database. So the fundamental element of database management system is data. Suppose we have some information like this, 75, we know, Chennai. This is a data, this is separate data, this is separate data. Similarly, AT, RAM, Trichy. Again, this is a data, this is a data, this is the data. So, data is the fundamental entity or component of database. It is a collection of real facts. It is about a person, it is about an object, it is about a place, it is about anything. So, data is collection of facts. Suppose, we need to have an organized data, then we need to collect or group a related data called as column or field. So we can call it as S number. This is S name and this is a place. So if you arrange a record in such a way that the group elements have some relation and we store these information under some title S yes, number, student number, student name and place right so if you collect all these informations of same kind then it is called what? column or field this is a name so this field contains only the name of the students we know as well as RAM the place where from these place persons are A, Chennai and Trichy. So, this collection is called what? Column. Right. The next part of this hierarchy is what? Row. Right. So, previously we have collected only the student number and student name and the place where from they came. Now, we need to relate all these columns together right so the name of the student is Vinod whose student number is 75 
who is from Chennai. Similarly, Ram is hailed from Trichy, whose student number is 80. If we like to collect all this data, then it becomes a record or row. Right? Since we arrange these information in a table like structure, the horizontal collection of information are called record. The vertical type of collection of records, the values are called column or field. Right? Yes. So, this is the record of Vinod and this is the record of Ram. Okay. Suppose we have another record 96, Lakshmi, who is from Madurai. Similarly, we have another record 45, Krishnan, who is from Salem. So, this is the record of Lakshmi, this is the record of Krishna. If we keep all these records together, then it is called what? Files or tables. If we have number of files, number of tables are together, this is called what? Database. So, this is the hierarchy of data. Data, collection of data are called column. Collection of column are called record, collection of record are called file, collection of files are called database. Understand? Right. Next, come to this point, DBMS. The title of the subject is what? DBMS, Database Management System. So first, we finished the explanation for data. Now, we have next component that is called what? Database. Database is a collection of interrelated data to be processed by one or more application system. So, come to the point. Database is a collection of interrelated to be processed by one or more application system. So, we can have number of data, huge volume of data stored in different tables in a different workstations. So, at a time, a database can be processed by more than one application system to get an information. Right. Next, we have management. What do you mean by management? We need to handle the stored data efficiently. Right. We need some arrangement. We need to efficiently retrieve or store data into database or from database. That's called what? Management. Efficiently handling data of database. Next is we have system. What do you mean by a system? System is an arrangement of inter related components to perform a common task. Right. So, system here is an arrangement. That is why computer is also called a system. Since it is a combination of interrelated components, monitor, CPU, keyboard and mouse. Right. So, system here is an arrangement. It is defined as an arrangement of interrelated components to perform a common task. So, come to the conclusion that DBMS, Database Management System, is a software used to create, store, retrieve, 
create user entry forms and create data reports. In other words, we can say database management system is a collection of programs which is permitting the user to create the database, access the database, store data into database, create user entry forms and even we can create reports. That's called what? Database management system. So database management system is a collection of programs which will enable the user to create, store and retrieve the data efficiently from the database. Understand? So this is called what? Database management system. Right. Now, we will come to next title that is um, <coughs> applications where these database management systems are mostly used are applications of databases where we are using this DBMS we can use DBMS or databases in railways airlines universities manufacturing industry sales marketing right except right now nowadays we can say there is no domain no area where we are not using this databases almost every domain almost every department almost every area we are using this databases but some of the important areas where we are using this databases are railways and also banking yeah banking railways airlines universities manufacturing sales marketing and other departments right so these are the area where we are applying this databases very much right next the next development of dbms is rdbms rdbms is what relational database management system what do you mean by relational database management system relational database management system is similar to database management system except that the data are stored in multiple tables and permitting the authorized users to access data from the database from the different area from the different systems understand database management system a similar to database management system stores data in different tables stored in different computers even in different locations it is also have operations called relational algebra operators right relational operators to perform data retrieval efficiently right like union intersection joining thus we have number of operations number of operators in rdbms right yes next we have the advantages of dbms advantages of dbms first one minimal of redundancy minimal of redundancy data consistency third one integration of data integration of data sharing of data enforcement of standards ease of application development 
and the last one is data independence. Right? Advantages of DBMS. DBMS are minimal of redundancy, data consistency, integration of data, sharing of data, enforcement of standards, ease of application development and data independence. What do you mean by minimal of redundancy? Right? Redundancy is nothing but repetition of data or duplication of data. DBMS will avoid or minimize the usage of duplication of data. But by using DBMS, we can minimize the level of redundancy. Thus, we can avoid of storing same data in different locations. Second, data consistency. What do you mean by data consistency? With the help of DBMSE, DBMS, data consistency will be implied, will be insisted on data with minimal effort. Third is what integration of data. As we said earlier, we have a relational operators or relational algebra. We can use query language. By using query language, with the help of relational operators, we can integrate data easily. So in DBMS, integration of data can be achieved with the help of query language. Next, sharing of data. When I discuss about relational, sorry, relational database management system, I said the data can be stored in multiple locations in multiple systems. So the main advantage of DBMS is data sharing or sharing of data, which permits the user to access a data from anywhere. Right? Moreover, multiple users are permitted to access the data simultaneously. At a time, same data can be accessed, can be shared by more number of users. Uh, when, when I say more number of users can share a data, it is not. Only authorized user, multiple number of authorized users can be permitted to share a data stored in different locations simultaneously. Right? That is called what? Sharing of data. Uh, the role of DBA, database administrator, is to find out the authorized users and giving them permission to access the data. Next, we have what? Enforcement of standards. Right? With the help of some standards, by enforcing the standards in DBMS, we can maintain security and integrity. Next, we have ease of application development. With a lesser time and with lesser cost, we can develop number of user applications. We can develop lot of applications on database. Data independence. Application program and data is separate, right? In case of DBMS, in DBMS, data and application program, data definition and application program are separate. So, which allows the user to modify or alter the application program without affecting the data definition or data structure. Understand? Data independent. Data creation, data definition and application program are independent. Both of them are separate. So we can easily modify the application program without altering the data creation or data structure. Right? Yes. These are all called what? Advantages of DBMS. Next we have components of DBMS. Components. First one. 
database ng next we have cori processor next we have data dictionary uh, form generator report writer application generator communication communication and integration last one is security right components of database engine first one is database in components of dbms components of dbms or database engine query processor data dictionary form generator report writer application generator communication and integration last one is security database engine this is a heart of database right this is very important as far as database management is concerned it is like a heart of database management system this is responsible for creation storing and extraction of data from database understand database engine is like a heart of a database which is responsible for the creation of database storing data and extracting data from the database right yes next we have query processor okay query processor what do you mean by query processor already told you that we can use query language in database management system for retrieving a data we need to raise number of queries all these queries will be given in terms of query language or through a query language these query language in sections will be processed by query processor right so query processor is nothing but a processor or you can say that it is a medium between uh, the user and the database it receives queries process it send it to database extract the data given back to the user right so query processor will execute the instructions of query language and extract the data from database <coughs> next we have data dictionary what do you mean by data dictionary it is an area where the entire information about the database is stored right data dictionary contains the complete information about the database number of tables name of the table number of fields number of attributes i i constraints everything will be stored in data dictionary this is a research space data dictionary is a research space in the database itself to keep the information about the database right data dictionary is a place where we can have all information about the table database tables attributes integrity constraints databases every information will be stored in data dictionary it's an area it is a collection of information about the database it is a research space of a database to keep information about the database right next we have report writer <coughs> what do you mean by report report is the summarization of data right it is a summarization of data or also called report generator this report writer or report generator is a program which will process the data of different tables and deliver it in a specified format <coughs> report writer is a program will retrieve data from different tables 
processed it and delivered it in the specified format. Come to point, form generator. What do you mean by form generator? Form generator is a is permitting the user to create user entry forms, or we can say this is user screen. Form generator or user screen permits the user to create user defined screens. These forms include images and graphics also. We can have number of forms and application generator. Application generator is the final package. It is the final package of the application development. <coughs> this will combine all the forms together to perform the given task. Communication and integration. DBMS has a specialized communication to communicate between the tables which are stored in different workstations or application systems located in different locations. So we need to have a different kind of communication language and we need to integrate all these data stored in multiple locations. So DBMS has a specified communication and integration for retrieving data from multiple locations. Last one is security. We said earlier that a data can be shared by multiple users simultaneously. If we allow, though they are authorized users, if we allow multiple users to access the data simultaneously, there can be a chance of loss of data. To avoid that, DBMS ensures the highest level of security at various levels, human levels, operating system level, OS, the operating system level, uh, software level, and uh, even uh, <coughs> some uh, what software which will protect from deliberate attack. Right? Yes. Next we have we come to the topic normalization right normalization normalization what is normalization normalization is a process normalization is a process which will efficiently organize data right normalization is a process which will efficiently organizes the data right <coughs> so it is a process which will imply highest level of efficiency in dealing with the data right this normalization has two goals one is elimination of redundancy elimination of redundancy Second, ensuring data dependence. The goals of normalization are two. One is elimination of redundancy. The other one is ensuring data dependency makes sense. What do you mean by elimination of redundancy? 